Good day. In the previous videos, we reviewed the banking module of MOB Advanced, including the setup of a cash account for short-term deposit. In this video, we'll complete a transfer of funds to the new deposit account and create a transaction for the interest received on this account. Cash transactions are entered through the banking module that affect cash. Sometimes these transactions cannot be recorded in other MOB Advanced modules. These include cash entries, funds transfers and transfer related expenses. These transactions do not involve customers or suppliers and affect balances of the finance accounts only. They use the entry type of CA. We can also enter transactions to affect the balances of customers or suppliers. We have two CA entry types to update for the short term deposit cash account created previously. One is the transfer of funds from the check account to the short term deposit account and two is the interest received on this account. Let's first look at the transfer of funds. From the banking module, navigate to the funds transfer form under transactions and on the form toolbar, click on add new record. Let's enter a description for this transfer. In the source account section, select the cash account from which the funds are transferred. In the transfer date box, check the date and change it if required. In the document reference box, enter the document reference number of the transfer in the bank. In the amount box, enter the amount that's being transferred. If the transaction has been cleared, select the clear checkbox and specify the clear date. In the destination account section, select the cash account to which the funds are transferred. In the receipt date box, check the date of the funds and change if necessary. Check the document reference setting and change if necessary. In this case, we'll change it to transfer from check account. If the funds transfer is maintained in different currencies, it is possible to override the currency rate for this particular document, if required. This is done in the account section by checking the exchange rate box. If you want to add expenses related to the funds transfer on the table toolbar, add a row and complete the required fields. On the form toolbar, now click on save and then release the transfer. The finance entries can be reviewed from the batch number hyperlinks. Next, we'll enter the transaction for the interest received on the short-term deposit cash account. From the banking module, navigate to transactions under the transaction section. On the form toolbar, click add new record. In the cash account box, select the cash account for the transaction. In the transaction date box, check the date of the cash transaction and change if required. In the entry type box, select the entry type from the list defined for the selected cash account. In the document reference box, the document reference number could be entered if needed. If document reference numbers are required in your company, they can be made mandatory on the cash management preferences form. Consult your Verde consultant for changes to the preferences form. In the description box, enter a brief description of the transaction. On the transaction details tab, click add row. In the quantity column, enter the quantity of the item associated with the transaction. Check the price column, change or enter the price for the item if required. And in the amount column, enter the amount. On the form toolbar, click save and then release the transaction. From the financial details tab, click the batch number hyperlink to review the finance batch created. Also note, multiple balanced cash entries can be released on the release cash transactions form in the process section of the banking module. In conclusion, 
By using the banking module, you can track a wide range of cash transactions and perform bank reconciliations quickly and easily. Please let us know with your feedback and join us again for more as we explore MOB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.